Oh, this is great. The owners of Bar PM are filing lawsuits against the St. Louis police for abuse. Uh, there were, uh, what happened was uh, two cops in a cop car crashed into the bar called Bar PM. Then harassed the owners once they came out to check on what was going on and arrested one of the owners for no reason. They made up several excuses as to why they crashed. One was um, they tr swerved to try to avoid hitting a dog. Another one was because they were messing with the radio and that caused them to crash. Tonight, two scathing lawsuits accuse a St. Louis police officer of having a history of physical abuse. The owner of Bar PM is suing after an officer slammed their SUV into the South City Bar and arrested the bar owner. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kelly Jackson. This crash originally happened in December, and tonight we learn more details about the allegations. Justina Coronel attended the news conference today and joins us live from Bar PM with the latest on this. Justina. Well, Kelly, there are two lawsuits. One was filed by the Bar PM co-owner and the other by a plaintiff involved in an incident six months prior to all this. Now, let's dive into the first one, and this one involves the Bar PM co-owner, James Pence. He is suing a St. Louis police officer named Ramel Wallace, along with the police department and the city of St. Louis. They accuse the officer of taking Pence into custody without probable cause, beating his husband, Chad Morris, and falsely arresting him as well. The lawsuit claims this... Yeah, the cops here were trying to use intimidation to shut up the owner over the event that happened. Uh, lucky for the owners, uh, there's video cameras and stuff, so it's harder for that to happen. This officer compounded a cover-up by charging Morris with multiple crimes and has a history of abuse, saying he is using his official position to inflict terror. The second lawsuit involves Richard Hopkins III, and it's a case that happened six months prior. Hopkins said he was assaulted by the same officer while being detained at the St. Louis City Justice Center. Today in a news conference, the plaintiffs... plaintiffs wow, so the, the other person who was filing a lawsuit saying that one of the cops there beat him while he was in jail. This is a problem with a lot of cops. They're, they're extremely abusive. They will beat people for whatever reason they, they decide on. And nothing happens to these cops because the other cops will protect them attorney said this is the fourth incident they've learned of with the same officer and we heard from pence and reaction i'm just shocked that it took this event to find out how many other events this officer has been involved in and the city has done nothing to prevent it or take him off the streets yeah when it's four times and it's a police officer there is a systematic issue going on to why uh, these cops who commit abuses do not get punished. And th the biggest reason is because those kinds of behaviors are allowed by the top brass because that's what they're looking for. That's why these cops are protected and that's why they're able to get away with a lot of their crimes until it becomes too big to hide. Now, these are accusations in this lawsuit, and that does not mean that this officer has been charged with the crime. Both lawsuits are seeking a jury trial. Now, I did reach out to the city of St. Louis and the St. Louis City Police Department, and they, in reaction, and they said they do. 